Zach, what's going on, my man? How are you doing? Good, good, good. Uh, Zach, we're going to go right into questions. We'll start with David Lake from 24-7 Sports. David, if you had a question for Zach. McLeod, September 16th, 2020. <clears throat> uh, just wanted to ask you, game one was in the books. You know, after watching film and all that, what do you feel like is, is maybe the biggest area you can improve game one to game two? I know that's typically an area where a lot of guys improve. Are you asking for me personally or as a defense, a team, or what? Yeah, sorry. You, you personally. Um, well, first game, jitters all the way. You know, I, I can – there's a whole lot, you know, I left on the field that day. And I'm not just going to sit here and down myself. But, um, you know, I can improve in just about every aspect of the game, whether faster reads, better foot pattern, um, catching the ball when it gets to me, all types of things I can improve on. So, you know, there's, there's nothing – I can't give you a specific answer on that. Zach, we're going to go to Manny Navarro at The Athletic. Manny, if you had a question. Hey, Zach, I wanted to ask you a couple of things. One, um, I guess I know you can play both spots. I wondered how much you spent at middle linebacker versus weak side against UAB. And then the second aspect, um, you know, Coach Baker talked about how there's so many linebackers that have different strengths and that it's a good thing to have sort of a deep rotation. I guess from your perspective, how much do you like that, uh, you know, sort of deep rotation? Does it keep you fresh? And how does that help you play better? Um. Well, in terms of the rotation, it's, I mean, it, it keeps you fresh. You, you're always going to need somebody. If you play hard, you'll, you'll always need uh, a blow at some point in the game, you know. Um, and they they help they, – they assist us with that by having the rotation. You know, I have guys that are behind me that I can, um, I can count on. Uh, as far as everybody having different strengths, you know, I get in the game versus somebody else. I might play something better than them or, or you know, they, they do something a lot better than I do it. And, um, you know, everybody, we just play off each other's strengths and it ends up working out pretty well. And if I could, just as a quick follow, I guess how much did you spend up middle linebacker versus the weak side in the game? Oh, I was 100% on the weak side last game. Okay. Zach, we have Matt Schildell from Canesport. Matt? Yeah, hey, Zach. Um, I want to switch gears a little bit. Uh, your next opponent, Louisville, obviously has a, a multi-talented offense, quarterback who can run and throw, a couple of really good running backs, a uh, trio of talented receivers. Um, do you sort of see – your defense's role as maybe stopping the run first and then going from there? Or how do you attack a team like this that can sort of do everything pretty well? Uh, credit to them for being able to, you know, they're, they're so skilled at things that they do. Everything that they do, they do well. But, um, you know, as a defense, you got to pride yourself on being able to stop the run first. If we don't stop the run, they won't have to do anything else. I'm sure they will, but they won't have to do anything else. Um, so you stop the run first, and then you get rid of the passing game. Um, I, in, at least in my mind, that's the order it should be. Zach, we've got a couple more for you. We're going to go to David Wilson at the Miami Herald. David, if you had a question for Zach. Hey, Zach. Uh, I want to ask you a little bit about uh, Bradley Jennings. Obviously, you know, we know he went through a lot with his injuries. First of all, just you know, how exciting was it to be out there on the field with him in a real game? And, and just for him personally, uh, behind the scenes, like what, what, what kind of impressed you about what he did over the last year, year and a half to, to get back to this point? His mentality. It's hard to maintain that. Um, you know, it's hard not really to, to lose a stride when you're when you're battling back from an injury or, you know, we're all fighting for positions or whatnot. Um, but he maintained his intensity and kept his mindset. You know, he was he's been up every day. He's he's like a like a battery for this defense. You know, he he's one of those guys that goes around and keeps everybody up. He's not gonna you're not gonna catch BJ being down on himself about anything. Um, he's just there to play. And that's one of the things I respect most about him. So it was exciting to be on the field uh, field with him. Great. Zach, last but not least, we have David Ferrones from the South Florida Sun Sentinel. David, if you had a question for Zach. Hey, Zach, I was wondering what your expectations are going to be like for uh, traveling for the first time during the pandemic. Just I know you guys are going to have uh, different protocols as far as uh, in the plane, on the bus, uh, in the hotel, and also when you can eat, you know, uh, before the game and all that. I mean, I, I'm not 100 percent sure on how uh, things are going to be different. I only will be because they explain that much to us, but um, you know, as far as the, the exact logistics and everything, I'm not I'm not sure how it's going to work out. But, you know, I know we're there to play a game. So that never changes. That's the main thing. Whatever they ask us to do, we'll do it. And when it's time for us to pull in the pads, we'll strap up. And Zach, I want to ask you uh, one more. I know uh, the defense didn't get to uh, debut the new edition of the turnover chain in the first game, but uh, now you'll get a chance to do it on, on prime time in a big game. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? And I know you guys saw it, and obviously you don't want to give away anything. Mm -hmm. But uh, what were your thoughts on it? Do you think the fans are really going to like it? 
Jazz gonna like it regardless. I, I you know, <laughs> it's the turnover chain. It is what it is. Um, but you know, as far as the defense, that's one of the things we can all improve on because we we had multiple opportunities to turn that ball over last week. But like I said, first game jitters is out of the way. The biggest jump that a team makes is from game one to ten, game two. So uh, we'll see what happens. Great, Zach. Thanks for spending a few minutes with us today. We appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good one. You too.